All right, this is just a super basic video showing how to make a small pulley on the lathe out of some round stock. This is for one of my courses uh, where they need to build a pulley for part of their project. So I'm just gonna do this kind of unedited and just go through the whole thing really quick if you missed the in-class demo. So for your stock, uh, if it has a big curve on it or an angle it wasn't cut straight, you need to quickly face it in your lathe pop it in there so you only have maybe about one inch sticking out. Use the chuck key to hold it in, snug. Next, use the bit that I have set up for Straighten it up, make sure that's all tight. You may have to double check the height on this. Bring this down to engage the machine. Bring the saddle or the carriage over. Engage. Keep going till the whole thing's flat. The most important thing is that there's no bump in the middle so that we are able to next center drill it. This one's not perfect. I would face that probably a couple more times until that's gone, but that's okay. Center drill. Remove the center drill install in your drill bit, depending on what size axle you are going to be using. I would always use a drill bit that is one size larger than your axle. And drill at least an inch or deeper. Go in a little bit, come out, a little bit, come out, that way it clears the chips. You don't get clogged in there and break the drill bit. If you hear bad noises, that usually means something bad is going to happen. Listen to the machine. Clear that out of there. We won't be needing to drill any more holes. Next, we're going to have to bring this out a little bit further. Have it so it's sticking out at least two inches. Tighten it back up. Remove the quick change here. Next, we're going to install this one that has a curve on the end. Uh, we have two different curve sizes. There's this one and a larger one. We want to use the small one. Install that here. Tighten it up. And get, the, get, get this lined up now. And go in based on uh, the, the depth you go is going to be personal preference depending on how you've designed your project. <laughs> Going slowly. If you're getting a little bit of chatter, I probably need to sharpen the drill bit. Make a little bit of space there. I have already preset the height of all of these, so unless somebody has messed them up, your height should be fine. 
parting tool. We want to make sure that it is perfectly, what is it, I guess, perpendicular or parallel to this. If you're not sure if it's parallel, you can bring the parting tool right up to your piece, and you're looking is is there an equal space in between them? Does it sit flush? I'm gonna line this up so it's over here. There we go, lined up. I'll get another angle here with my camera. Bring it to figure out how wide you're going. I want to go as small as I can so that we can save our material. I'm going slowly. It shouldn't be chattering. As you're nearing the end of the cut, make sure you slow down. Right, slow down, it's gonna drop to the base of the machine. There we go. Turn off the machine and start looking down below. There we go. We have a small little pulley right there. Nice. It'll need a little bit of finishing up, some filing to smooth things out, but this will work out well for what we're using it for. So in our case, this pulley, some sort of axle is gonna be going inside there. It should be able to spin. And it's gonna be used to actually run along this wire. There we go. Hope that was helpful. Cheers, bye.